most of us are actually overeating because we're deficient in nutrients. I mean, the brain knows when it's fed. Did you know that recent research shows the average person today lacks at least one essential nutrient and some important habits needed for clear thinking and good physical health? At the same time, we are eating more calories than ever. This strange situation points to a simple truth. We are not sick because we eat too much. We are sick because we're eating wrong. In this video, we're breaking down three powerful biohacks shared by human biologist Gary Brecka that can make a real difference in your health. They are simple, science-backed habits that work with how your body naturally functions. Let's get started. Biohack Number 1. Sleep Hygiene and Routine Sleep is one of the strongest tools humans have, yet it is also the most ignored part of our daily schedule. We cut it short all the time and treat it like something optional. But sleep is not a luxury, it is something your body needs to survive. Lack of sleep affects your mind too. Brecca emphasizes that if you're not sleeping, sort of nothing else matters. If you're not sleeping, sort of nothing else matters. Right? If you look at the consequences of prolonged sleep deprivation. They are not only physiological, they're psychological. A lot of the mental illness we deal with is exacerbated by sleep deprivation. Most people make a big mistake of not having a sleep routine. Ask someone about their workout routine, and they can explain it clearly. Ask about their morning routine, and they know every step. Ask about their sleep routine, and they usually say, I just go to bed when I am done with everything. That is not a routine. That is a disorder. You need a fixed sleep routine, and you need to follow it every day. Start with your bedroom. Brecca stresses the importance of consistency in bedtime and sleeping in a dark room. Consistency in bedtime. Um, sleeping in a dark room, like literally surgically removing all the light from the room. Literally surgically removing all the light from the room. Cover your alarm clock with a shirt. Use blackout curtains. Or wear a sleep mask when you travel. Put your phone away at least one hour before bed. Because the screen emits blue light that lowers melatonin. The hormone that helps you sleep and makes your brain think it is still daytime. Keep your room cool. Around 68 degrees Fahrenheit is ideal. Cooler temperatures help your body fall asleep. Stop eating two hours before going to bed. This is very important. Brecca explains that digestion is a really intensive process on the body. Try to eat your last meal two hours before you go to bed. So, you're, so the blood that should be in your brain is not diverted to your gut. Your intestinal tract is 30 feet long and enveloped with blood vessels. When you stuff it full of food, the blood leaves the brain and the rest of your body and goes to the gut to digest. Your body pauses cleaning and recovery and focuses only on digestion. If you eat earlier, digestion finishes before sleep and your nervous system can truly relax. This results in better sleep quality and you wake up feeling more rested. Biohack number two, breath work and morning routine. When you follow the same morning routine every day, your body starts to expect it. Your nervous system begins to prepare as soon as it notices those familiar habits. Here is a simple plan. Within 30 minutes of waking up, do some breathing exercises. Step outside. Let the cold air touch your skin. Look toward the morning sun. Take a few slow, intentional breaths. That is all you need. Brecca shares a personal example from his own morning. He woke up and pulled the curtains open, went outside in his shorts, and it was probably around 40 degrees that morning. He went outside and let the cold air hit his skin, face the sun, and did a few rounds of breath work. When he came back into the room and shut that door, he was switched on. Um, went outside, let the cold air hit my sun, uh, let the, hit my skin, faced the sun, did a few rounds of breath work, came back into the, into the room. When I shut that door, man, I was switched on. When you do this every day without skipping, your body starts to recognize the pattern. You feel more awake. Your focus, clarity, and energy rise on their own. Biohack number three, the supplement stack. Most of us take supplements just to take them. We grab random vitamins and hope they help. That is not how nutrition works. Good supplementation is about fixing what your body is missing, not following trends. Think of it like this. If a palm tree in your yard is sick and you call a real botanist, they do not treat the leaf. They test the soil. They find what is missing, maybe nitrogen, and then add only that. The leaf improves on its own. The human body works the same way. Your body is the soil. Deficiencies create problems. Fix the deficiency and the body starts to repair itself. So what should most people take? There are four core supplements that form the base of a daily routine. First, a methylated multivitamin with B-complex. Brecca explains that the word methylated is important. It means the vitamins are already in a form your body can use. He describes it as a basic multivitamin with the B-complex in the methylated form of vitamins, which is essentially the already converted form. 
This means instead of folic acid, you get methylfolate. Instead of cyanocobalamin, you get methylcobalamin. These are active forms, so your body does not need to convert them. When shopping for multivitamins, look for the word methylated. That tells you it is usable. Second, a quality omega-3 supplement with EPA and DHA. Most people consume too many omega-6 fats, which promote inflammation. Breca points out that we're very high in omega-6 fatty acids, the ones that are very pro-inflammatory. And most of us are deficient in the omega-3 fatty acids, the ones that feed our brain and reduce inflammation. Taking a simple fish oil or omega-3 supplement in the morning helps correct this balance with very little effort. Third, mineral salt. This is where many people are missing the point, according to Breca. Your body needs 91 essential minerals, not just well-known ones like potassium or magnesium. It also needs trace minerals. Breca emphasizes that human beings need 91 essential minerals, and a lot of us are very deficient in them. He clarifies that he doesn't mean just the big minerals and electrolytes we hear about, like potassium, magnesium, and sodium. He's talking about all the trace minerals, such as boron, manganese, molybdenum, selenium, silica, and also the ones that you don't hear a lot about. These are rarely talked about, but they are vital for bone strength, enzyme activity, and basic cell function. Breca recommends taking a pinch of sea salt, putting it in 8 to 10 ounces of water in the morning, stirring it up, and drinking it back so you hydrate and mineralize the body. Now Breca addresses why trace minerals are important. Many older adults take calcium for decades and still develop weak bones. That is because bones are not made of calcium alone. It combines with phosphorus to form strong bone material, but that process depends on many other minerals. If even one is missing, calcium cannot do its job. As Breca explains, in order for the mineralization of bones to happen, you need a few things. One, you need a load, which is why exercise is so good for you. But the other thing you need is 12 essential minerals. If you're deficient in those minerals, all the calcium in the world won't help you. Fourth supplement, essential amino acids. Most people focus only on protein intake. They aim for about one gram of protein per kilogram of body weight. But Breca points out what many don't know, that all protein becomes the same thing. It all breaks down and becomes amino acids. If you're deficient in any one of the eight essential amino acids, the rest of those amino acids convert from sugar to fat. So most of us are not protein deficient, we're amino acid deficient. The eight essential amino acids are called essential because your body needs them to survive. They are responsible for muscle growth and repair, hormone production, and supporting your skin, hair, and nails. There is no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. You can live without carbohydrates, but you cannot live without essential amino acids and fats. These three biohacks work because they focus on basic needs your body depends on. Eating proper food, getting enough sleep, keeping your nervous system calm and balanced. You should know why you are doing these things. When you do, your body responds with better focus, more energy, and real health. So start today. Choose one habit, practice it until it becomes natural, then add the next one. Your future self will be grateful.